Jumbo, fellow adventurers, it's Mike Dooley. So excited and stoked to be with you and to be with my dear friend, Michael Sandler. We're going to do a little jamming together in just a moment to get you aware of the magic that can pour through you, as was designed by the greatest architect of all time, divine intelligence, source energy, um, through automatic writing. It has changed my life, made it better. It has changed Michael Sandler's life, made it better. He shared a little bit of his story with us earlier in last week's Facebook uh, live, and we're going to hear a little bit more, and I'm going to ask him questions, some of the questions you guys have been asking, because in just six days, seven days, June 21, that is not a long time from now, we are going to be kicking off this 21-day adventure for a price you choose. You cannot go wrong. So, uh, Michael Sandler, are you out there on the World Wide Web somewhere? Come in, Papa. Woohoo! I am here. I have uh, baby Hana off to my side getting fed vocalization. You know, that was actually part, and I know we talked about this last week, but the miracle of baby Hana being here actually had a lot to do with automatic writing, particularly when you're three miscarriages in and you're going, do I step forward again? And then when you're faced with a decision, oh God, the decision was uh, uh, from the surgeons, the best surgeons perhaps in the world, definitely in this country, we can perform surgery and we may be able to save one of your babies or we cannot perform surgery and chances are you're going to lose both. If we didn't have automatic writing and what happens when you do automatic writing for a long time is you, you become a channel yourself. You become someone who can talk to spirit and hear spirit, thank God, quite literally. And you can go, all right, I've got a decision to make and a decision to make right now because they said that uh, baby Hannah, her heart was about to fail if we didn't let go of baby Miraku. What's it going to be? And oh if, if we didn't have automatic writing, our brains would have exploded both during it. And as I said last week, it would explode during it. And um, the amount of guilt of letting go of a baby in order to save another baby, because you would have been going, um, did it have to happen? Did it have to be that way? Maybe we could have. If we weren't plugged into spirit through automatic writing, and that's why I want to teach everybody this, it sets you free. If we weren't plugged in, our lives would have imploded, Mike, completely and totally imploded. Instead of getting a happy baby in the other room. I can't imagine what you guys went through. Uh, and I'm so glad to hear of the your ability to go within and find comfort and guidance and clarity. For everyone who's new to to one of these two Mike Michaels, um, Michael Sandler, who's just been speaking, is a late blooming first time dad. As of how many weeks ago, Michael? Late blooming. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I've used that for myself. Okay. As, as of uh, five weeks, five days, not that we're counting, Mike. I uh, um, no, no. But well. the um, the amount of peace we did, we did the whole natural thing as best as we could. And it was completely, you know, so much is out of our control, but the amount of peace through the process of being plugged into spirit, because I'm sure the same was said for you. Nothing went quite according to plan, mm. but yeah. there was the peace of being plugged in. Yeah. 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 Well, cause I too am a late blooming first time dad. And uh, my bloom was about eight years ago in a couple of months. Not that I'm counting, but boy, has it been an unpredictable joy ride beyond wildest expectations. And um, and yeah, and so, so we're talking about automatic writing and we're about to do this course, 21 Day Adventure into Automatic Writing, where anybody can perfect a gift that we have all been given, and that is tap into our highest self through the exercises and rituals that Michael has blazed a trail on. He's uh, the best-selling author at Amazon.com um, with the most highly rated book on Amazon.com pertaining to automatic writing. And he's used it to tune in for guidance, for baby decisions, 
Um, you can do it to write a book, a screenplay, become a, an amazing composer, become your own best friend, to fall in love, to get guided. I mean, the list of things one can do is truly endless when they begin to get out of their own egoic intellectual way and allow spirit to come forth. And so everybody, that's where we're at. That's what we're talking about. Just a few days from now on June 21, we're kicking off this 21 day adventure, the two of us. Michael is the guru. Mike here is uh, the moderator. Although I have uh, experienced and used automatic writing the entire 22 years of my writing career, it's helped me with 17 books, 3,000 notes from the universe, um, and great clarity when I was otherwise feeling like a broken man. Um, Michael, where should we go from here? I've got questions for you. People have sent in questions. Anything else you want to do to set the stage? I can hear my best man at my wedding, Hendrik Mako, one of the top, uh, uh, former top uh, marathoners in the world from South Africa. And he was saying something about my wife that we could just as easily put to automatic writing. So I might as well go there. He told me before the wedding, and he's one of my groomsmen, dude, you were nowhere without her. And that's without Jessica. Dude, I was nowhere without automatic writing. I was completely lost. I was working my tail off. I was sharp as a tack, which got in my own way. I was a former ultra endurance athlete, which meant I was going to push over through the wall, whatever it took. And I was admittedly lost, Mike, until I started going in and hearing from spirit and hearing from the angels. Have you tried this? Have you thought about that? Or let's help get you outside of your box. I like to say that I help free people from the matrix. Let's get you outside of your box so that you can look back at the world from a bigger picture perspective. And thank God I got that, Mike, or I don't, I literally don't know where I'd be now. How long ago was that, Mike, Michael? It was a good decade ago. I learned automatic writing a little over a decade ago. When I learned it, the words that came through were so profound about who I was, what I was going to do, all things of that sort, that I thought this is my ego making it up. And I waited another year and a half. I was, I was taking a class on, on channeling with the Akashic Masters, and I had to read it before everybody. And I read it, and I was so horrified. Shame and embarrassment are two things. I can't watch a movie if there's like a lie, if the movie is based on a lie and somebody's trying to, I can't do it. And so I read this thing before the whole class, and it said how great I was. I was going to speak before a mountaintop, before thousands of people, all this good stuff. And it just horrified me. It must have been making it made up by my mind. And that's a big concern with automatic writing. I must have made it up. So I didn't do it for another year and a half, two years. Then I picked it back up. Same stuff comes through. Threw it away again. Then I had a past life regression. Same stuff came through. At which point I said, wait a second. That wasn't my egoic mind making it up. And so I started going back to automatic writing, particularly after I got booted out of my dream home in Maui, which I mentioned to you. I started going back to my automatic writing and started refining the process and figuring out how to make sure my thinking mind was out of the equation. And um, it, I refined and refined and refined and it started steering everything and I started teaching it to others. And then it became a basis for all of my coaching, not a single coaching client. I won't coach you unless you learn automatic writing because I'm a guide, but the greater answers are going to come from the other side of the veil. Always from your higher self, your spirit on the other side of the veil, your soul on the other side of the veil, from the elders on the other side of the veil, from your angels, from your guides, from your ancestors, from your loved ones on the other side. So I may guide you, but we need their input. Much more important. Everything changed in my world and my clients' worlds, in my students' worlds, once I started doing that. And you started doing it every day, looking for steps to take. And what, it changed your career. It changed financially. It changed relationship. It, um, it saved my marriage. It certainly saved my marriage. It helped us get to where we have baby Hana. How does it get any better than this? My economics when I started it. I'm in my wife's childhood bedroom 
eight by 10 room, two twin mattresses on the floor. I can look out the window at a little Suzuki hatchback. It's 10 years old. I don't have the money to register it to get it on the road. I don't have a single dollar. My my mother-in-law, she was turning 70 and she asked me, am I going to have to get a second or third job to support you guys? Yeah. And wow. I had this vision through automatic writing. It started telling me, hang in there. You're going to build your business. Here's what you're going to do. Step by step, baby steps at first. Here's what you're going to do. Now, financially, incredibly well off. Best-selling author. Show that's been a number one on iTunes, a number one on Google Play Music. Quarter million people watching it on YouTube. On and on it goes. Thousands of students. And on and on it goes. All that came out of that. It required, Mike, you went back to daily. It required it being my oxygen. But what did you do every day? Like, is the process every morning you sit down and you write good questions to get good answers? Or is you just sit down and surrender and, uh, you know, scripture comes pouring out of you? <laughs> well put. I get up in the morning and right now it's it's a little bit foggy, Mike, because there is no separation between morning and evening with a newborn, as you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But in general terms, I get up, I sneak past the rooster. His name is Ruru so that he stays sleeping. I feed a couple kitty cats. I go sit at my computer. I put on the Theta brain entrainment music that comes with the program. Well, first I do a, a brief meditation or centering. I put on the music. I write out a few prayers and then I do it typing because I'm dyslexic. And so when I write, I reverse words and letters. I do it typing. And, so, and some people say, no, you can't do that. You need to be organic. It's like typing is organic. Okay. I've been doing it for decades. And decades. Yeah. And I have, oh, I have se secrets to make it, we'll call them secrets, to make it easier for typing so the thinking mind doesn't get involved. But I'm with you. And the words start flowing. But I ask very generic questions and, and I, I guide people through the program so that there's questions on a daily basis you can ask. So we can ask in a lot of detail, but then I just want to get the heck out of the way, Mike. What does the universe want to share with me today? Now, mm -hmm. I have a class tonight. Our School of Mystics is tonight. So I sat down this morning and I asked, what am I? This is bold, Mike. What am I teaching tonight? <laughs> And it's scary because every Wednesday morning, because every Wednesday evening I teach, every Wednesday morning I sit down and they give me the curriculum. I have no clue. I'm a blank slate. It's very scary. And it's actually an exhilarating way to go through life because it has nothing to do with what I'm thinking about. Mm -hmm. And so every day I'm guided. Here's what you get to think about. Here's the most important concern. Here is, it's a teaching tool, Mike. Okay, it's a guide, it's a coach, it's all of these things. I call myself a modern mystic. You're a modern mystic at this point too from all the writing you're doing. I am a modern mystic because of the discourse, or as you called it, the brilliant word, communion between me and spirit that takes place on a daily basis. Each and every day I'm being taught a higher level teaching than anything I could have asked about. So I simply get out of the way. Now, if I've got wounds, they'll talk to me about it. If I got blocks, they'll talk to me about it. If um, yesterday Jessica said something and it triggered me, Mike, I'll talk about it. Or we're moving in two weeks. We're moving in two weeks because we got this place to be near the hospital. We don't know where we're moving yet. It's a wild time. It's beautiful. It's perfect. I will go into automatic writing. I'll say, why don't we have a place yet? Where do I get to look? What do I get to do? How do I stay centered through this process? And it will walk me through that. But the best automatic writing is going to school on a daily basis, which for the intellect, it's like, gimme, 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 good, 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 good. But for the heart and the soul, my vibration goes up and up and up because each and every time I go in is an attunement at a slightly higher frequency. Wow. That's so good. That's so good. So I think most people know of automatic writing because of folks like Neil Donald Walsh, who just belted out, you know, volume after volume of mind bending books or Seth and Jane Roberts. We have Neil on in uh, two hours and 45 minutes on the show. Tell him I said hi. <laughs> All right. 
Will do. So that's one one uh, of the many fruits, let's call it, that can come from automatic writing. And what you're talking about is something that I've also dabbled with um, to my own amazement is asking questions and then writing the answer. And then the answers are like, like, did I make that up? And that sounds really good. And uh, so how do you not, so, so these are some of the fruits and then we can communicate with loved ones who are yeah. passed over. Then we, I think uh, you said you could communicate with living people, maybe Absolutely. that you can't have a word with. Um, and, and that was done since uh, Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. He actually talks about automatic writing and, and going to a boardroom and having Thomas Edison in his boardroom who he later met after he'd been doing automatic writing. And he told Thomas Edison, I've been writing to you. And Thomas Edison chuckled to him as if he knew. Wow, wow, wow. Makes me think of a conversation I had with my mom um, before she passed. Uh, and that's a tangent. I, I want to uh, get this information from you. So there's these fruits that come from it. And and so there's, a, I guess, a, an art to asking questions. Are there questions we can't ask or ways that we shouldn't ask them? Will that be covered in the 21 days? All of it's covered. It is it is easier than you think. So we're going to make it super simple for you to understand how to ask questions. The one question you don't want to ask or the one way that you don't want to ask at least early on is the binary question, the yes, no question. <laughs> and the reason is when you're asking a yes or no question, it is a very emotionally charged question. I guarantee you. You know, we're going into a bear market. Do I sell or buy Tesla? What, you know, it's like, eh, you know you're, you're a little bit charged and your ego knows how to jump in when things are too emotionally charged. Oh, oh, wow, 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 wow. That's really good. I love that. And then how do you know, how do you know it's, great advice or, or that maybe your ego didn't slip through and is telling you what you want to hear. Cause you know, I, I've always kind of wrestled with that a little bit. There is a feeling state. Now I'll talk more about it in the program, but there is a feeling state. It's, it's, it's easy to share here. Ego Mike never feels great. It feels icky. It feels heavy. It feels syrupy. And I'm not talking about the good job, Mike. That's not what I'm talking about. Ego is always going to come to you in a voice of, uh, <laughs> you need to do this. Why didn't you do this? You shoulda, woulda, coulda, or I'm going to shoot all over you. Ego is not fun. Right. Your higher self, your guides. Even I have a loved one on the other side who's 89 years young when he was my best man, Jack Burden. And, and he'll still speak to me through automatic writing and because he, he uh, crossed over at 93 and a half years young. He retired at 93. He was driving the nursing home bus, driving it. And he said, every man dies within six months of retirement. And, and, and I said, he, he said, I have a congenital heart failure. I'm like, do you want me to help you with that? And he goes, damn it, Michael, I'm a Course in Miracles guy. I want to see what's on the other side. <laughs> And in automatic writing, he says the same thing. Damn it, Michael. But he speaks to me with a loving voice. Mm. Your higher self, your spirit, your angels, your guides, they may have some key words for you. They may say, I need you to take action now. COVID came about. We had a fire heading toward the house in Colorado. And they're going, now's the time to move. Very strong, but loving energy. As Neil Donald Walsh says in his new book, it all comes from a place of pure love. And so it's, it's sort of like uh, Marion Williamson or going into A Course of Miracles. You can weigh this very easily, kind of that scale of justice. Is it light? Is it heavy? Is it love? Is it fear? And it starts to become very easy to tell. Last point on this. Your ego is not just a slippery weasel. It's a slippery weasel with a code of ethics. I had no idea about this. If you ask in your automatic writing, is this my ego? For some bizarre reason, out of the thousands and thousands of people I've taught this to, ego will always say, yeah, like it's proud <laughs> to tell you when it's pulling a fast one on you. So if I've got a really big decision, let's say we're coming down to the wire. 
I know thoughts become things, but we're coming down to the wire and it's a decision between place A and place B and I can't decide and automatic writing has made it clear what it's saying, but I don't know if it's really from automatic writing or not. I will go into automatic writing and I'll say, is this from my ego? Is this from my ego? And I will ask about a dozen different times. Oh, wow. <laughs> until I'm very clear. But now, I mean, at this point, I can just weigh it, but I will still do that because I want to make sure, and I will ask a bunch of different ways. Is this my elders? Is this my guides? But it becomes so abundantly clear. Wow, that is amazing. That's so good. So you do it every single day at the same time of day? Multiple times a day. So I am the overachiever with it because of how much it's transformed my life. We ta uh, we've talked about when neurons fire together, they wire together. The more that you practice, the more that you build this fiber optic tunnel between you and spirit. And so I do it as best as I can as an automatic writing sandwich, morning and evening. And it sets my vibration throughout the day and through the nighttime as well. At a very a bare minimum, I'll do it in the morning and then I'll do it before a class or before a live event or before well, us meeting right here. Because I don't want to take anything, Mike, from my thinking mind. My thinking mind is beautiful for getting me across the street. It's beautiful for building a program. It is not beautiful for the intuitive hits. That's supra mind. That's right. above the thinking mind. And so I want a focused practice to help me go beyond the thinking mind every chance I can. Do you teach um, complementary um, tools, techniques? You mentioned earlier muscle testing. You said that you were doing some muscle testing to find out whether or not with baby Hana's presence, could you skip it for a day? And, and the muscle testing said no. Do you, do you teach muscle testing as part of this program? Do you do pendulum work or um, anything I do a, else complementary? A bit of muscle testing, just a very bit when we go into clearing work. So I wouldn't get the program for muscle testing. What I would get it for, though, is we all have wounds and blocks inside of us. No. Present day wounds and blocks where we find ourselves on autopilot in a fight with a spouse or freaking out for no reason. A, a response that is not proportional to something taking place. Mm -hmm. I show you how you can work with your angels and guys to clear that. More importantly, we are all operating on an autopilot that goes beyond this lifetime. We all came in here with wounds and blocks. We often call it karma. Karma is just about learnings and teachings. It's not about you did a bad thing and now you're going to pay right, for it. Right. But we come here and, and you can see it in everyone. I know it's in you. It's definitely in me. We, from almost day number one in school, we start repeating these patterns over and over and over again. And we're like, why? And so we can go into automatic writing and we can say, why? Where did this come from? Even what lifetime did this come from? Can you, like a past life regression, show me this lifetime? Oh, wow. And then can you help me to learn the lesson and free me from it? The patterns repeat. So one of my favorite statements, it's, it's really twisted. It shows my old, school, uh, uh, old uh, humor that used to be in me. The beatings will continue, Mike, until morale improves. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's amazing. So you can, you can ask about, and uh, I guess while you're writing, do you, receive pictures or do you just yeah. get words uh, and you can remember or understand a pattern and its cause? It, it will, in the beginning, the writing is the writing. So that's when it's sort of like in the beginning, when you go dating, dating someone, mm -hmm. it's kind of superficial. It's uh, I don't want to offend the other person. I want them to see me at my best and you're not really going deep yet. Then you start to get to know them. You start to go deeper and deeper. And then you really get to know them. And you start to share hopes and dreams. And then you even have uh, collaborative hopes and dreams if everything's going really well. In automatic writing, the same process takes place. In the beginning, it's very superficial. It's little things. You're loved. You're a great person. 
breathe deep. Then it starts to go a little deeper. Then it goes deeper still. And then it's starting to share some deepest wisdom. Then it's kind of, we'll call it in today's day or age, the pandemic of automatic writing. It starts to spread everywhere. And not only are words coming out, but you start to get flashes of images. You start to hear things, not this booming voice. Now, when do we expect that in this program? Like when... The, the average person, let's say they're not a writer, they're not psychic, they're, they don't remember their dreams at night. Well, I'm going to challenge you on that, first off. Fruits. E everyone is a psychic. Everyone came from spirit. Everyone. Well, I'm, I'm thinking people are going to be coming with that attitude. I'm, I'm with well, you, first what off. What can they hope for? Like, what's realistic? Like, how, how long are they going to say... This is powerful and I can feel its influence in my life. Within the first few weeks, quite likely sooner, they will feel, feel very different. Because each yeah. time you dip your toes in, it's raising your vibration, even if the words aren't starting to really flow yet. They start flowing within the first to second week for everybody. Within the first month, you start to get profound words of wisdom. Within two months of entrainment, you're radically different. You're radically different. Now, you addressed several um, points of resistance. Let's go after that. I'm not a writer. Great. Your frontal lobe is literally knocked offline, as we were talking about earlier. Your frontal lobe isn't involved. That's the part of the brain responsible for writing. It's gone. The writing ain't coming from you. So if you're not a writer, great. If you are a writer, we got to work to shut your mind down even more. Very doable. But it's even easier if you're not a writer. I'm not psychic. Great. You don't have any preconceived notions that can get in the way. Mm -hmm. This is writing a supra above mind or without mind. The people who have the biggest challenge are those who are going, um, I need to know everything. I need to know every detail. I need to know how it works. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Even for them or for us, and having a degree in science myself, among others, Mike, I get this. You get to a place of surrender. It feels so good. The mind goes, I finally give. <laughs> and the words come flowing through. Wow. Wow. Well, I my experience has, has shown me the same. Like, instead of just writing content for earlier books, when I started asking questions, I'd be like, dang, that is profound and and i would lean on it in the days that would follow and it'd be like yeah and it would have it would have given me the light that i needed for a decision have you ever got a dis an answer that you didn't like or have you ever not followed the advice that you were given for whatever rationale and i either it went okay anyway or you regretted it so okay there's two two parts and, and, and i want to back up for a brief second you end up being Neil, I love you. You end up being your own version of a Neil Donald Walsh. You end up having that level of conversation with spirit. With that said, I learned fairly early on never <laughs> to disagree with my automatic writing. Does it give me answers that I don't like? Yeah, quite frequently. Really? It's, it's my guides on the other side challenging me. Right now they're doing, and, and my audience knows we're going through some big changes with the show and it is challenging me. Now, I go along more slowly than they would like. <laughs> I don't want to move at their angel speed, so to speak. But when they say jump, over time, I'm going to have to resign and go how high. I'll never try to move too fast because that scares my egoic mind too much. And Mike, I don't know about you, but I live for stability, even though I live a, they were giving me a teaching recently about living recklessly. And, and, and that means living to your fullest and, mm -hmm. and allowing yourself to experiment and explore and be an adventurer. That's living recklessly. They mean that in a reckless abandon, in a beautiful way. Before you're in the pine box, let's live. 
With that said, <laughs> I tend to come along more reluctantly. I was never planning, as I mentioned before, I was never planning on teaching automatic writing, on teaching channeling. I've had people become channels and mediums from learning automatic writing. I never planned on doing that, but they will keep on me until I listen. Do I like what they have to say? Quite often, Mike, no. Mm. One of the biggest challenges people have in automatic writing is it's going to point out your greatness. It's going to point out how amazing you are. And it's going to challenge you to step forward into your greatness. And um, in this world, we've been taught to play it small, to play it safe. Mm -hmm. And automatic writing will not allow that. It'll say, you came here for greatness. Let me show you what you're capable of. I'll even lay out the steps for you. Are you willing to go on the journey? And our egoic mind goes, eek. <laughs> And every day you go into it, it'll knock, knock. Are you ready to play a bigger game? Mm. But it won't, we'll use the biblical term, it won't forsake you. <sighs> it will walk you through the journey. It's not going to put you out on the limb and go, all right, you're on your own. <laughs> you know, you kind of um, maybe already implied the answer to the question I'm going to ask now. But does this has this communion for you uh, gotten to a point where you can forego the writing and you can pause and reflect and go within and feel the answer right away? I mean, I, I would imagine that's where we're going. Um, yes. And yes, I can go within. Yes. I can actually hear the answer. It goes beyond a feeling state. It's not a booming voice, but there's, it's, it's not like coming through the years, but you hear the words behind it. And, and I will get that. However, the deepest conversation, and maybe that's more of chewing gum for the mind, comes if I will then go to my practice and sit down and have a conversation. So let's say something big is coming up and I know what I need to do, but I'm feeling jittery about it. Mm -hmm. I will go, I will sit down in automatic writing. I'll grab my handy dandy headphones. <laughs> And I'll go, and I can do it any time of the day. I'll go, ticka, 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 ticka. What can you tell me about this? And the words will spill out onto the page. And I'll be at least at peace afterwards. Hmm. Oh, that's really uh, super. Um, what do you think would be the most palpable sensation attendees of the course would have uh, by the end of 21 days? I mean, are they going to... Like. <laughs> your vibration goes up angel spirit guides loved ones they're all on the other side of the veil they're vibrating at a higher level your higher self is too but down here we're yeah. kind of in this fear-based molasses the more that you start conversing on the other side of the veil isn't it great we've got a kitty a kitty singing we've had this car outside that is just doing its its alarm dance and yet your vibration it starts to go up and up and up. So I've had people who are clinically depressed <clears throat> and, and, and are seeking help for an anxiety and fears and worries and concerns. And, and, and I'm, I'm not a therapist. I don't play one on TV, but they start to feel so much better. Why? Because as you reach up your arm and the angels reach down and start to pull you up, you find your vibration each day going higher and higher and higher and higher still. And then you look back. So Mike, you look back after a couple of weeks and you go, well, the words aren't that profound yet. Well, how do you feel? I feel amazing. All right, keep it up. You look back after a month and you go, wow, I can't believe the changes. You understand it's a hockey puck curve or hockey stick curve. You look back after two months and you go, who was that person? It's that profound of a change by bathing in the energy on the other side of the veil each and every day. Wow. Do you feel that you, in the beginning, rely more on the, the voices that you call upon, angels, guides, uh, to a point where you're relying more on your own inner self? Or is everything just a function of you and that's a distinction that's not important? The distinction as to who you're speaking to, that's not so important. It, mm. it, meaning, you know, 
Is it an archangel? Is it your guardian angel? Is it your master guide? Is it, I, I don't know, Ellen, <laughs> whoever. That's not so important. Yeah. The messages are more important. However, and let's draw a distinction here, a distinction between automatic writing and journaling. Journaling is a first person process. It's an I, me, my. That's a process coming from your thinking mind. Automatic writing is you, dear one. It's okay. You'll be fine. Breathe deep. Don't worry. Let's talk to you about this. That's coming from outside of yourself. That's the voice that you're going to listen to. The mm -hmm. I, me, my voice. And we, we have a way of handling that. And I teach that in the program. If the I, me, my voice comes out, we find a way to both put it to the side and it's there for a reason and help you to heal whatever wounds are being brought up by that voice mm -hmm. from your higher level guides. Woo! I can't wait until June 21. Let's tell everybody about the course. It begins June 21. You can actually sign up as late as June 24. So there's not it's not difficult to catch up because basically there's going to be, tell us, every day for 21 days, you've got a video up your sleeve. You're going to do a video drop every morning. Everybody's going to go to their computer uh, before sunrise or whatever is your schedule. And then what? They're going to get... They're going to and, see and, and I'll throw in or late at night. There are two best times to do it early in the morning or late at night. So I don't want people going, well, I'm a late night person. You're not getting me up early. That's OK. We just want to do it when the world sleeps. Keep going, Mike. OK, so so there's going to be a kickoff workshop. Mm -hmm. um, and then the next day. It'll be lesson one of 21 of the 21 days. So, so there's four workshops where you're going to be teaching. I will be kind of uh, moderating, uh, ch chiming in occasionally here and there. Uh, they're going to be probably 60 minutes long. And then you're going to do Q and A with the live audience. And there'll be an opportunity on the Facebook community group. that's private for adventures. There's already thousands, Michael, who have signed up thousands who have signed up. So there'll be a Facebook page where people can, um, pre-submit a question if they can't attend live. So the first workshop is an hour intro, an hour, let's get ready to rumble, and then 30 minutes of Q&A, then the 21 days in a row of lessons. So each lesson, uh, how long is the video, and what's the homework assignment, and what might people want to know now to see if this is going to work for them? So each day there'll be a video from about four to eight minutes in length. It's going to guide you through a process. It might be how to communicate with long lost loved ones, how to manifest beyond your wildest dreams, the, oh. for my highest good, the highest good of all, or something even better. It may be how to help heal the wounds of your ego. It may be how to clear karma from past lifetimes. Really, really, really cool stuff in here. Plus, basics. Are you having a problem at work or a problem with a relationship, a problem with another person? How you can heal that through automatic writing? Are you having nightmares? Do you want to know what they mean? Do you want to do dream interpretation? We're going to teach you that through automatic writing. So each and every day, this is, I've had over 2000 shows, Mike, I've read nearly 2000 books for my show. Each and every time I do an interview, I read a book. The only tool I go back to each and every time is automatic writing because it's the library of everything. What do I want to learn how to do? I'm going to get that. You want to go and communicate with Einstein or communicate with the Buddha. You can go to them through automatic writing. So each day I break down, here's a new quick, uh, Cool tool. I can't even say that. A new cool tool for you to try. And I make it super easy. And yes, my energy right now is a little bit over the top. That's that's kind of the, the energy of spirit coming through me. Your energy will be going up each day and you will be on fire to try these things. All right. And then we've got a, a workbook. Every participant gets a full-blown workbook with ruled lines where necessary to take notes from the workshops. 
uh, as well as pre-printed instructions that complement the daily lessons. You can complete this workbook online on your computer desktop or and save it to your computer. Or you can print it out and put it in a three ring binder. Um, and then there's community, the Facebook page, where you can check in every single day. <coughs> Participants will and you and I will um, and get the pulse and find out what's what's hidden, uh, what needs some accentuation. Uh, it, I, I think you have thought of everything, Michael, between the 21 videos, the workshops. There's a total of four workshops interspersed by one week. So there's a kickoff workshop and seven days of videos, daily videos. And then there's a check in workshop with content. Q&A, and seven more days. Here's a couple of things that I really like about this, Mike. First off, we have a lesson. Each lesson compounds, builds on the last, but you have a week to play in between and practice and see what's working and see what's not. And I actually guide you through. So particularly the early videos are saying, have you tried this? How is this working? Give this a shot so that there's a lot of problem solving going through it. So we get you out of that thinking mind state. Because initially, that's the hardest part is I need to get you out of your mind, which is the greatest place to be. And so I walk you through that and it all compounds. One builds on the next, builds on the next. And as that, that neural network grows, we start to go into more sophisticated topics and more sophisticated topics. And I was thinking about recently, I've got a bike off to my side here and I have to do indoor bike riding at the moment as a former pro cyclist, but I got hit by a car here in the fall. And so until we move to someplace more rural, I'm not riding outside. I went to hire a coach earlier this year and he knew I had a, a, a baby coming up and he said, let me give you a, a written program with no interaction and because we don't know what's coming up. I fell off the program really quickly because I didn't have that daily touch with this program, with the videos. It's not, I give you something and you're gone. See you later. That doesn't work for, I don't know about you. It does not work for me. I need the touch. I need the community. I need the feedback. I need the um, accountability. All yeah. of it. You get that with this program so you're not going it along. And then you can even bring your questions to us and say, hey, Michael, I'm trying X, Y, Z. I'm struggling with this. And I'm going to go, great. So many other people have this exact question as well. Let's answer it for you. Let's help get you going. And you've just helped countless others as well. It's going to be so hot. I would suggest to all watching right now, you cannot miss this. It's at a price you choose. Money back guarantee. I've never, I've never taught automatic writing. I want everybody to do it. I want it to be incredibly affordable. Um, although I really want you to do the work. Do the sign up and then do the work. It would. Okay. It's my belief, Mike, that if we all had a process like automatic writing the world would shift. A year and a half ago, close to two years ago, I was invited down to the uh, Nobel Peace Prize Summit in uh, the Yucatan in Mexico. And what became very clear to me for, for, for the work I was doing, it became very clear to me, if we wanna change the outer world, mm -hmm. Change your inner circumstance by living a spirit-driven life. So we go, oh, let's change on the inner world. What does that mean? If you find a simple way, simple way, it can be as little as five, 10 minutes a day of talking to spirit, whether we call it angels, whether we call it guides, loved one, elders, Akashic masters, it doesn't matter. You will change the decisions you make. You will change your energy. And you will infect and affect everyone around you. So I am on a mission, Mike, to get automatic writing to everyone and make sure they use it. We had this discussion off air a few weeks ago. I said, I want to make sure everybody uses this because it will, it's so powerful. It will change your life. And then it starts to change everybody's life around you. 
to clarify, you started a sentence uh, three or four minutes ago. You said, I have never taught automatic writing. I think you were about to say in this way or for this reason, but clearly as for the author this you price. are. Uh, for this price. <laughs> right. I've never taught it where it's pay as you go of whatever you can afford. <sighs> yeah, we're letting never, everybody ever, pick their own done price. That. We've done that since COVID. Um, we have just received too many uh, emails of gratitude with folks crying uh, that they were able to do something like this, given the weird times of the world we're in. Uh, and, and it's especially generous of you, Michael, given um, how much you typically uh, are able to bill your services for privately as a coach and, and uh, group. Here's how I look so at this it. is extraordinary and deeply uh, appreciated by me and all of those thousands who have already signed up. Here's how I look at it, Mike, and thank you, is typically the more that you pay, the more you're invested in it. But yeah. in this case, and as I was just reading this morning, we're in a bear market. <laughs> it, it's hard for people. Yeah. And, and so it's an energetic token to get you going. You give an energetic token to us, we're going to give you the world an automatic writing. We, spirit, is going to give you the world an automatic writing. Michael, I think we have covered every base. I cannot wait. I'm counting the days. I've got my journal and my computer and my OneNote uh, workbook all set up to take my game to a higher level and learn from the best. Uh, any final thoughts or words? <laughs> Here's where I'm hearing from spirit. I'm hearing anyone can do this. Look at you. You were a schlub. <laughs> and you were able to do this, Michael. So anyone you don't need to be a writer you don't need to have any psychic abilities you don't need to be able to muscle test you don't need to be able to anything the words of wisdom are always there it's just that we have we've lost our way we've lost our means to tap back into it or to discern to tell is that me or is this spirit so we can call this a discernment tool and a tool to turn up the volume on the universe. Then we start into this adventure and life changes, becomes more fun, becomes greater, becomes watch out because what you're capable of is so far beyond what you ever, ever imagined. That is the truth and i'm so excited for that reason thank you michael sandler thank you so much i'm counting the days everybody we kick off on june 21 but you can join us as late as june 24th it'll just be a couple of days of videos four to eight minutes you can do that so thank you all for your time your patience your excitement that you're sharing already in the discussions we look forward to kicking off with you really, really soon. Taleho amigos. Thank you, Michael. Link down below. Love you guys so much. Keep on shining bright.